In this video, we'll see how to find out beam reactions in case of simply supported beam as shown in the figure. So it is having the point loads and UDL as you can see from the figure. So there is a uniformly distributed load of 10 kN per meter acting for 2 meter length and another UDL of 5 kN per meter acting for 1 meter length. And the two point loads are 15 kiloton and 20 kiloton acting at a distance of 1 meter and 2 meter from the left hand support respectively. So first we'll convert the uniformly distributed load into a point load. So 10 kiloton per meter. So for 1 meter length the load that is acting is 10 kiloton. Then for 2 meter length it will be 10 into 2. So that is the uniformly distributed load which we have converted into point load and it will be acting at the center of 2 meter length because it is rectangular distribution and center is at the centroid is at the center of this particular rectangular distribution. Similarly, the another uniformly distributed load is of 5 kN per meter and again it is acting for 1 meter length. So for 1 meter it is 5 kN then for 1 meter it will be again 5 into 1 that is 5 kN acting at the center of 1 meter that is 0.5 meter. So using these values so we have converted the uniformly distributed load into point load and already the point loads are there. So using these values we can find out the beam reactions. So first condition of equilibrium is summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero. Upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative. So RA and RB they are positive. So RA and RB they are acting in the upward direction so they are positive. 15 kN, 20 kN these are the point loads, point loads which are acting in the downward direction so they are negative. 10 into 2 UDL which we have converted into point load it is acting in the downward direction so it is negative. 5 into 1 which is again a UDL which we have converted into point load and it is again acting in the downward direction so it is negative. So 15 kN, 20 kN, 10 into 2 and 5 into 1. So all these loads they are acting in the downward direction and hence they are all negative. So minus 15 minus 20 minus 20 and minus 5 so that summation is minus 60 so ra plus rb is equal to 60 kilonewton now summation of moments is equal to zero clockwise moments are considered as positive and anti-clockwise moments they are considered as negative so taking moments about point a so we can start with this rb so rb will produce anti-clockwise moment about point a and the perpendicular distance between b and A is 4 so it is minus RB into 4. This 10 into 2 it will produce clockwise moment about A. Perpendicular distance between this point up to A is 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is total 3 so that we have indicated over here. This 20 kN point load will produce clockwise moment about A and the perpendicular distance between D and A is 2 meter so it is 20 into 2. So that we have mentioned over here. This 15 kiloton point load will produce clockwise moment about A. So it is 15 into 1. So that also we have written over here. And finally this is the UDL which we have converted into point load. So again it will also produce clockwise moment. So 5 into 1 is the UDL which we have converted into point load and perpendicular distance is 0.5. So transfer this minus rb into 4 on the other side so it will become positive and if you add these values then it will be 117.5 divided by 4 so you will get 29.375 kiloton. Now substitute these values in equation 1 so equa from equation 1 ra will be equal to 60 minus rb and the value of rb is 29.375 so 60 minus 29.375 that is 30.625 kiloton so in this way we can find out the beam reactions in case of simply supported beam carrying point load and udl thank you very much for watching